Hey, let's look at the probability classification of elements. There are 180 elements known at present and it is very difficult to study the properties of all these elements separately. So uh, all these elements have been divided into groups of uh, in such a way that elements in the same group having si have similar properties. So in this way, the study of a large number of elements is reduced to the study of a few groups of elements. This is the reason for the product classification of elements. We will now discuss the attempts that have, which have been made to classify the elements from time to time. So let's start with Dobbin Strat. When elements are arranged in the order of their increasing atomic mass, group of three elements known as strides having similar chemical properties are obtained. The atomic mass of the middle element of these strides being equal to the sum of the other two element masses of the other two elements. So this point will become more clear in the following example. In the example of alkali matter group, the elements lithium, sodium and potassium having similar chemical properties and form a dried. For example, all of these are metals. All of them react with water to form alkalis and hydrogen gas. All of them have a valency of 1. They are monovalent elements. So due to their similar chemical properties, the elements lithium, sodium and potassium were put in one group called alkali metal group and form a double stride. From the above table, it is clear that lithium is the first element of the stride, sodium is the middle element, whereas potassium is the third element of the stride. Atomic mass of lithium is 7 and atomic mass of potassium is 39. Arithmetic means of atomic masses is 7 plus 39 by 2, which is 46 by 2 and it is equals to 23, which is same as the mass of the sodium. So, thus the atomic mass of the middle element of the stride is equal to the arithmetic mean of the atomic masses of the first element and the third element. So, that's about the uh, this example. Let's look at the alkaline earth metal group. The elements calcium, strontium and barium have similar chemical properties and form a triad. For example, all of these elements are metals. The oxides of all of them are alkaline in nature and all of these elements have a valency of two color they are called a divalent so due to the similar chemical properties the elements calcium strontium and barium were put in one group called alkaline earth metal group so atomic mass of calcium is 40 and at atomic mass of barium is 137 now if we calculate the arithmetic mean of the atomic mass of the first and the third members of the triad it will be come out to be 40 plus 137 by 2 which is 177 by 2 and it is equals to 88.5 and the actual atomic mass of the middle element of this triad is 88 as shown in the following table. So thus the atomic mass of the middle element of this triad is approximately equals to the uh, arithmetic mean of the atomic mass of the first and the third element. So so that's the uh, that's about the this example. Uh, let's look at the another example. So the elements chlorine, bromine and iodine have similar chemical properties and form a triad. For example, all these elements are non-metals. All these elements react with water to form acids and uh, all these elements has a valency of 1 and call as a monovalent. So due to their similar chemical properties, the elements chlorine, bromine and iodine were put into one group called the halogen group or halogen family and form a Dobin stride. So the atomic mass of the chlorine is 35.5 and the atomic mass of the iodine is 127. Now if we calculate the arithmetic mean of the atomic mass of the first and third element of the stride, it will be come out to be 35.5 plus 127 by 2 which is equals to the 162.5 and which is by 2 which is 81.25. And the actual atomic mass of the middle element of the stride known as bromine is 80. Thus the atomic mass of the middle element of the stride becomes approximately equal to the arithmetic mean of the atomic mass of the first and third element of the stride. So that's the idea about the uh, example number three known as halogen family. So uh, there are limitations of the uh, Dobbin stride. Let's discuss the limitations of this Dobbin stride. So it failed to arrange all the known elements in the form of the types of elements having similar chemical properties. 
Dobinets could identify only three triads uh, from the elements known at that time. So his classification of elements was not much successful. So that's the idea about the Dobinets triad. I hope you enjoyed my lecture. See you in the next video. Thank you.